Hello, beautiful souls. So today for Grounding with Elisa, I wanna talk about listening to your inner knowing, to your guides, to whatever you wanna call it, and not waiting for the tower moment to arrive. So I have a really good friend who is the perfect example for this. And um, I'm also an example for it as well. And you will already know the story about how my car got broken into. Um, so that was a tower moment. So the universe, this simulation, will send you messages for you to take action. And if you don't, it'll send you more messages. And if you don't, then a small tower moment will happen. And then if you don't listen to the small tower moment, then a bigger tower moment will happen. And what's happening is you're being prompted to step out of your comfort zone to grow. And if you don't, they're gonna help you get there, but sometimes people don't arrive. And so in this case, my, my girlfriend works cutting hair and she, she was feeling very uncomfortable where she works. Um, her boss um, actually, you know, asked her if she wanted to do cocaine in the back room. Then he started hitting on her and she just didn't feel safe there. But she, again, money, right? Always the money and the paper. Um, she kept staying and staying and staying. And she's also being um, being prompted to be a healer. Cause she's super powerful healer, super, super powerful healer. And she won't, it's like something she doesn't even consider that is an option, again, because of the money. So what happened was that she was at work one day and her boss, this she gets to, to work and she sees that her boss is being beaten by a man. So her boss is on the floor and this guy is beating on him. And then she sees how the guy um, that's beating on her boss takes off to his car saying he's going to go get his gun. And so she's calling the police and um, very traumatic event for her. And... Um, she, it, it, it's almost like the universe provided this tower moment for her to realize that it was time to go and that she needed to stop waiting anymore. Um, so that was a tower moment that happened. Another example of another friend is that she has not been wanting to leave her job because again, money and um she has not been moving forward with the messages that they're sending her so her car stopped working so she took it to the shop and they changed the battery and then what happened the car still wasn't working so after that then um they she took it to the dealership they they fixed it and then the car Two seconds later, like that day, stopped working, wasn't moving. Why? Because she wasn't moving in her life. So what I'm here to tell you is don't wait for the tower moment. It is not fun. When my car got broken into, it was hell. It was so traumatic for me, but it was the best lesson that could have happened because now I don't fear anything because I don't want to bring that into my life. So I'm here to tell you, listen to your intuition. Know that you're guided. Know that you will be taken care of. Trust, trust the messages that you're getting because I'm telling you, you don't want the tower moment. And if, you want, and, and if you're wondering what the tower moment is, is a tarot card called the tower and when the tower moment happens 
it's the picture is a building on fire and people are jumping off from the building so that's what i'm calling the tower moment and i feel it's really important that you guys listen before you get either a mini tower moment or a gigantic tower moment like what happened to my friend who was cut, cuts hair so um and i love them so much for allowing me to share their their stories but it's important you guys you have to listen to your intuition about leaving a job or leaving a husband or leaving a relationship or whatever the messages are coming to you please listen you don't want the tower moment all right I love you guys.